Good morning, everyone. So I'm finally doing a day in my life. So morning routine. Clean myself. So it's Monday, 21st October. So basically, I'm just gonna take you through a whole day of volume training, volume eating, and volume activities. Is a day in my life. Okay, so this is how I'll always start off my day with two or three coffees. Don't judge me, I need my coffee in the morning. And um, I'll have breakfast now. I woke up a bit late today, 8 a.m. I usually prefer waking up a bit earlier at like 7.30. I'll usually have my breakfast in the kitchen downstairs, but there's like too many people living in this house. So it's a bit too loud plus it looks so much nicer up here so i'll go ahead and have my breakfast i always have egg whites and toast with peanut butter i need my phone so i'm actually using this app on my phone at the moment to track what i eat i have like specific macros for a double session day I won't stay going into like what type of macros I'll have on a single session day or double session day or on a rest day in this specific video because I plan to do a whole video just about what I eat in a day. I have 20 grams of protein, 5 grams of fat and five, 20 grams of carbs. I am cutting weight and I need to be 64 by January so I'm hoping to cut the weight super slow and super consistently and not have to be hungry for the last month going into the competition so okay so i am very strict with the weight hmm. 45 grams of this bread Like when I decide I'm gonna be really strict with my diet, I generally go all out. Um, okay, and then I'll measure my peanut butter on my food. Usually I'll get my program really early in the morning, but my coach hasn't sent my program yet. Usually he'll send the program for the entire day. And take one with me. Huh? I'm leaving it on like this. You can get some artistic shots. I look good. Mm -hmm. Where's the other leg of this? Is going? It fell off. Okay, so I was saying. So I'll start my first session at. 9 30 hopefully not be longer than an hour and a half come back home have my lunch rest a bit and go back to the gym at 5 30. at the moment it's a lot of volume a lot of repetitions a lot of work super long sessions thankfully i'm not that sore today last week i couldn't move but today i'm a lot better so it takes approximately 40 minutes to an hour to get to the gym I don't feel like I have road rage. I feel like I've become a super patient driver. A few moments later. In the beginning, I used to get really nervous and angry as soon as I get in, into like some kind of traffic, but I've become a lot more patient. It's obviously my going. You kind of get used to it, I guess. So. It is a beautiful day here in Malta on the 21st of October. Let's have a look. Ah? An air hostess. I sound like an air hostess. Mm. <laughs> One last coffee, get changed, 
and go to the gym. Jake's off today on a Monday. On the way to the gym, something I did not record is that I also prepare um, a shake to take with me to my session, which is 10 grams of protein, 10 grams of carbs. I did run out of like my powder carbs I um, put into my shake, which means I should really stop by Holland and Barrett's on my way home and get some carbs and some other supplements I'm missing. I always have like this shake with me during every session. It actually has really helped with like just recovering during the session. So I did get my program. I have snatches this morning from the blocks, which I hate. I am actually one of those athletes that prefers to snatch off the floor rather than snatching from a hang position or from the blocks. I feel like most athletes I've met prefer snatching off the blocks or from a hang like they hate snatching off the floor I can feel the bar path a lot better when I'm snatching off the floor like from the hang you're just starting midway and it's like what do I do I hate it but I need it so uh, program looks intense today not super heavy weights I think I'm snatching only up to 60 didn't even check about tonight though this is honestly what most of my day is like if you guys are expecting a super exciting day in my life it is mostly me in my car driving to and from training so basically i live in shemshia in malta which is very up north and the gym is in cotonera which is very much to the south so it is i guess super unfortunate I actually left a bit late and I was like literally panicking just because I didn't like leave enough time to put on the camera and make sure I have everything to record at the gym and I'm like I left the house about 10 minutes late but there's no traffic maybe I should just leave the house late every day Malta with no traffic is rare oh camera when there's no traffic you kind of forget that there's like 7,000 cameras in Malta. I'm not gonna jinx myself but the road today it's almost like Malta wants to make me look like I lie about the traffic but this is amazing. What's I don't know.
Okay, just finished my first session. Gonna drive myself home. Actually stopped by Holland and Barrett's first to buy my supplements. Um, not bad first session. I actually felt really good today. My snatches felt really, really good. What's wrong with my car? Come on. All right, see you later. So what I usually do now is drink my 17th cup of coffee, do some Instagram stuff, like post a photo, which I just did. Yes, Malta's been like too hot lately still. It's October, you know, at this point we're expecting it to calm down slightly, but it isn't. So what I'm going to do is power dock my legs. I'm actually really glad I have hairless legs. This was not on purpose because I'm like shooting for today. I think I, I find these quite useful. The settings I will use on a day like today in between sessions is just the recovery setting. I'm struggling with, oh sorry, I'm sorry baby girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, she hates me. So I'll just do this for 20 something minutes and increase when it doesn't feel as uncomfortable. What I usually do now is finish off any other type of work, so I don't have a lot of like time in between. It's 1.30 now, and I have to leave the house by uh, 4.30 to get to the gym by 5.30. In the afternoon, the traffic is a lot worse. 2.30, I try to make sure to get a nap and wake up by 3.30. Then I'll have like another meal. I think I should have another meal now. I don't know. I have to check. So I have to have another meal, then wake up, have like some coffee, prepare like my bag and stuff. Well, my bag, I don't actually take a bag with me. I leave everything there, but just prepare my shakes and everything I have to take with me. So I have an, an hour's time. Usually I'll just like go through my emails. So when I say go through my emails, I obviously mean like any type of work I have to do, either interviews or photo shoots any type of like collaborations I'm working on. Doesn't seem like I have too many. I have two emails actually, just two emails I need to answer now, so that's not too many. This will be done by then. I will grab a snack before I have my nap because I should be eating at two, so in 20 minutes. Eat again when I'm up, actually 45, and then go back to the gym. So that's basically it really. I'll see you later. Okay, just got up from my nap. I slept an extra half hour. It's okay. I needed it, I feel. Just supplements I'll take every day around this time. So I take digestive supplement just because I get really bloated. I'll have ginger that I just resupplied myself with. Ginger root again really helps with digestion and also is a really good anti-inflammatory as well and I've just overall felt better since I've been having it. I'll have one now and one before I go to bed tonight. This is the most important hemoglobin supplement. I have low hemoglobin count so this helps. That's what I'll have now and then later tonight I'll have Zeta Maze before I go to bed. I'm not patient enough to like swallow them one by one so I'm a bit like hardcore done so the drive to the gym is very long through experience of course I have like 
four different routes. It's basically just been experiments throughout the years. A lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, really question how I do this, how I drive this much, but I genuinely have gotten so used to it by now. Like the professional athletes abroad, they live in an Olympic center, you know, the gym is right downstairs. Everything is like an athlete's Disneyland, basically. I'll meet other athletes abroad. You know, sometimes they're amazing, huge, super successful athletes. I mean, I was training with Tom Alorediana last April, and of course, immediately, I would think that she was gonna be like, Oh, who is this girl who's like snatching 85? I can do that in my sleep. But she was the most incredible human being. She always supported me. When I hit an 85 kilo PR, she came to my room after and like gave me a mini chocolate. We were both cutting weight. So she was like, well done on your PR, which I thought was so sweet. She was just always motivating. Even when I was down, she would always tell me, you know what? Like, this is normal. You're not gonna have all great days. Just be patient, just stay positive. I was not expecting that, which I guess is weird from my point because I would never do that to someone who's snatching or clean and jerking less than me. I would always show them respect. But I I don't know why I thought someone of that level would just look down on me. Honestly, that was my bad. Because she in no way ever looked down on me. And she really helped me actually. And training next to her every single day was and will be for a very long time one of the highlights of my athletic career. So my session tonight is a bit longer than the morning one and that's generally how it is. My evening sessions are a bit longer and a bit more intense and we have arrived.
I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Session finished, Mela. Channel. Suck it to me, yeah? Okay, so it's 9 p.m. I finished off my stretching at the gym and then I depop, so I had like a delivery of an item of clothing very close to the gym, so I just dropped it off straight after gym I smell I'm hungry and I'm ridiculously tired which is you know usually the state I'm in every day at this time super long session I think it took like two hours to finish that session maybe a bit more if you consider like warm-up and the um, accessory and, and stretching uh, wow I am really tired So usually I'll have my very last meal in about an hour and a half but to be honest I am very tired and I genuinely just feel like going to bed and like maybe editing a bit the video I'll be posting this weekend and sleep getting a really early night so I'm gonna have my last meal now so I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me and seeing what it's like basically to do what I do might not seem like anything too special it's not super exciting but this is what it takes I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me and I'll see you soon